Good morning, everyone. My name is TJ Larkin with Learning Exchange in Brookfield, Wisconsin. For everything new and great with Mimeo, please visit our website at www.learningexchange.net. You'll also be able to find our great training options, both in person and online. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about the new Mimeo mobile app, which was released by Mimeo two months ago. We've had many clients come to us asking if they could try it out before purchasing. I'm proud to tell you Mimeo now allows a 30-day evaluation period, so let's show you how to do that. First thing you're going to want to make sure you have is the most up-to-date uh, Mimeo Studio software. That's version 10.1. To do so, go to Mimeo.com and under Products, click on Mimeo Studio Software. You'll be directed to this page where you can just hit Download Now. It'll ask you what your uh, operating system is and some of your credentials. The download will usually take about 10 to 15 minutes depending on your bandwidth. So once you download the software, you're going to want to go into your new Mimeo Studio software and you'll notice that there really isn't much of a difference. The, the main changes come to the Mimeo mobile uh, options over here in your Applications tab. But to evaluate the Mimeo mobile, you're going to want to hit the Help menu in About Mimeo Studio. Then click on Mimeo Mobile and then you'll be able to hit this Evaluate button uh, and then your 30-day trial will begin. So it's literally that easy. Uh, mine isn't illuminated quite simply because I have already activated uh, Mimeo Mobile in my software. The next thing you're going to want to do is open up your iPad and under the App Store you're going to want to download the new Mimeo Mobile app. It is a free app so it's very easy to get uh, under the App Store. So once I click this and open it up, you will see that this is our home screen. Now, if you've tried downloading this and played with it, you'll notice that you really don't can't do anything without the Mimeo mobile activated on our software. So uh, you're going to want to do a few things before you can come in and actually use this Mimeo uh, mobile app. In the Mimeo's gradebook, you're going to want to set up a few classes. I'm not sure if you have or not, but, but you can see that I have a few classes already set up. This will allow you to kind of pair the, the iPads with the students in your class. To add a class, it's quite simple. Just click the Add New Class, and then you're going to want to add some students. And then it'll always uh, be there for when you go to do the Mimeo mobile features in the studio software. So once we come back into our software, uh, I'm going to click on the Applications tab, and the first thing I'm going to click is the Class Manager. Now you'll notice that I now have that all of the classes that were set up from my uh, Mimeo gradebook. So today we're just going to use the Mimeo team for demonstration purposes. Now we finally have this QR code that you saw on the iPad. This is kind of the genius part about the new Mimeo mobile app. It allows you to, to connect to the studio software by taking a picture of this QR code and that's great. Uh, one thing to, to note that uh, when you are using um, the Mimeo mobile on your iPad, uh, it's not like a lot of third-party apps where you can control your computer from anywhere in the, in the world as long as you have an uh, internet connection. Here today what we are going to make sure is that we you have to be on the same network. So when you come into the settings feature of your iPad, you're going to want to make sure that one, the Wi-Fi is on, and two, you're on the same network that uh, the computer that has the studio software is connected to. So I'm going to connect here, and uh, I'm already connected on my computer here. So uh, when I come into the Mimeo mobile app, I will simply be able to, I see my QR code, so when I come in here, I'm going to hit the class manager, and you'll notice that everyone that was in my gradebook now appears under the Mimeo team. Now what we're going to want to do here is hit this QR code, and you'll notice that it'll be big. Uh, this is important because if you have this projected in the front of the room, uh, all of your students will be able to take a picture of this, this um, QR code. So coming back to my iPad, uh, the students will simply hit this, and then it'll activate the camera feed function of my iPad here. I have it turned off. So you'll notice that I can now take a picture. Uh, so I'm going to take a picture of that QR code that was being projected up on the, on the wall. So coming back to our iPad here, you'll notice that that class list now appears on our iPad. What I'm going to do now is select who I am. So once I click this, it's going to ask me if I'm really TJ. And now I'm logged in under that class. Now coming back to the, the studio, you'll notice that 
when I come in here, I now have uh, the, the option to be in that class. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the control function. This is a lot like a lot of different uh, third-party apps where you can control your computer. This is great for, for te only teacher use, so if you want to roam about the classroom and control your computer from your iPad, you'll be able to do this. Or if, you wanna, if you're doing an interactive lesson or interactive anything within your classroom, you can send control to anyone that's connected via the iPad app. So here, when I click the control under the applications, I can either be the teacher, and it will send it to the teacher's iPad, or I can select TJ Larkin. And now, when you look on my iPad, it's a little crazy just because I'm using the document camera, but I can control my computer as if I was anywhere in the, in the classroom or the world. So I can do third-party applications, uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel. I can search the web, really control my computer uh, from the in from anywhere in the classroom. This is pretty cool because a lot of people have the Mimeo pad, and the biggest uh, drawback that they have is they'd like to see what they're controlling on the pad. Well, this allows you to do that. So this is a great tool for anyone using that type of thing. So let me open up my um, Mimeo Mo or Studio software, and now I can control. Um, the lesson by uh, just writing hello on my iPad. That's the great part about it. So if you have an interactive lesson where you're either popping balloons or doing math problems, I have complete control from my iPad. That's the great part about that. If you have any questions regarding uh, the control feature of uh, the Mimeo mobile tools, please uh, email us or contact us at Learning Exchange. The next mode within the Mimeo mobile software that I want to show you is the collaborate mode. This is great for if you have multiple iPads within the classroom, uh, you'll be able to display up to nine iPads uh, that are connected to the Mimeo mobile device. This is great if you're doing group work or if you have students around the class that, uh, that are doing different problems. Uh, all, if I had more than one iPad connected to our software here, all three of those, or all nine of those actually, would be have their own little box. Now the teacher can be up at the, the board controlling what she wants. Uh, so the teacher could be at the board saying, what is 3 plus 3? Sorry, I'm doing this with my mouse. Um, and then on my iPad, I can write uh, 6. So if you have different groups uh, doing any types of math problems, really any interactive lesson, uh, it's a great way to kind of talk between all the different iPads within the room. This is good because other students could see what's going on um, on other iPads and see what other groups are doing. Now, under the Collaborate uh, mode within, on the iPad, you're, you are limited to the tools that you can use. You can only use the pen, the highlighter, and the erase tool. So on my iPad, I'm now going to come in here and erase that if I, if I need to do that. Once you are done with that collaborative lesson, you can access any past lessons or any collaborative sessions that you've done under the Mimeo Studio Gallery. Uh, so un when you open up the gallery, you'll notice under it, there's a new tab here saying Collaborative Sessions. You come down to the last time we were using that, just drag it in. You'll notice that uh, right here it says that I was the only iPad connected to that session. Uh, if there were other iPads, everyone's work would be saved in different tabs over here. So those are just a few of the options that you have with the new Mimeo Mobile. Uh, there are, obviously there are a lot more applications that you can use with the collaborative and control methods, but that could take all day. If you have any other questions or any concerns, please don't hesitate to call us at the Learning Exchange at 262-641-0500, or we can be reached at our website at www.learningexchange.net. Thanks and have a great day.